alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to do a fit simulation experiment. We can do the same experiment uh, in lab. Uh, here is the document. Uh, I'm going to share this document with you on Manage Back. So we need to follow exactly the same procedures. So just open the fit simulation. You have here a table. You have to fill it uh, out. I need to take different measurement for the angle. Theta 1 is the angle of incident. Theta 2 is the angle of refraction. And then we find sine theta 1 and sine theta 2. And then we can calculate the index of refraction. Now, how, going, how we are going to calculate the index of refraction? Let's explain the experiment first, and then we'll go to the calculation. So here I have a laser beam. I can show the angles. I start here based from the document. You can start from angle 25, 35 and go all the way till 65. OK, so here I can start it with 20. I'm not going to do the same uh, measurement as you. OK, but you follow up the sheet that I shared with you. So I'll go with 20 at the beginning. Or 30, I can start with 30. Okay. Okay, let's suppose. Okay, it's around so 30, it's around 19.19.5 or 20. So we take this measurement 30 and we record it here. And then I can go up to 40. Forty. It's around twenty-five point four. You open Excel sheet. This this one. I've already. I'll share it with you. I have theta one is the angle of incident. Theta two is the refracted angle. The refracted, not the refraction. The refraction angle. It will be bounce off in the same medium in air. Here I have two different media. I have air and I have glass. So in the same medium, bouncing off this refracted ray, when it goes from one medium to another, the light will bend. This bending of light, this we call it refraction. Now, why does it bend? Because the speed is different. The speed of light here, I have speedometer to measure the speed. The speed of light, this ray in air, first medium in air is, is one C. C is a three times 10 to the power eight, 300 million meter per second. Now when it goes to different medium like here I have a glass or water or any other medium, this medium is more dense than air. Any other medium other than air is more dense. That means the speed will be less. So the speed of light is less is around here for glass 0.67 C. Yeah, a little bit higher than than half the speed of light. So if the speed is 300 million, this will be around 200 million. If you multiply 0 0.67 times 300 million. So what Snell's law tells me? Snell's law tells me the ratio says the ratio between the index of refraction in the second medium divided by the index of refraction in the first medium will equal sine the angle of incident divided by sine the angle of refraction. So here I have two medium. First medium I have air. Second medium here in my experiment I have a glass. I could repeat the same experiment for water or any other material. Perpendicular, imaginary line, perpendicular to the surface that separate air and glass, this we call it the normal. OK. And here I have an incident ray that hits. The surface. What will happen to this incident ray? Part of it will be reflected. 
the angle of incident and the angle of refraction should be the same if this is 30. This is also should be 30. My, my drawing is not exactly accurate. And part of the ray will be what? Will be refracted, will bend, will bend toward the normal when it goes from fast medium like air to slow medium, slow medium like glass. Here, the speed of light here, see it's three times 10 to the power eight meter per second. And the speed of light here in glass, it will be we, uh, based on the experiment, fit simulation is 0.67 C, which means 0.67 C is a three times 10 to the power eight. And if you calculate this number, let me see, 0.67 times 3 times 10 to the power 8, it will give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 2 times 10 to the power 8, which is less than the speed of light. So when it goes from, from fast to slow, what will happen to the ray? It will bend toward the normal. It will bend toward the normal. Now, this angle we call it theta one in the first medium. This is medium one in one for air is always one. The index of refraction for glass, we don't know. We need to find it out. OK, we have we need to calculate it in the lab or in fit simulation. Same thing. So I need to find this one. And here we can measure this angle theta two from the experiment. So how can I find into M1 is one? So N2 will equal sine theta one over sine theta two. So what we're going to do in this experiment, we're going to take measurement, different measurement for theta one and theta two, sine theta one and sine theta two. We fill up the table. After that, after that, we're going to draw a relationship between sine, the angle of incident, and sine, the angle of refraction. I should get a straight line. The slope of this straight line, which is rise over run, the slope will give me N2, the value of index and refraction in glass or in the other medium. So this is the main idea of this experiment. So how we're going to do the calculation? This is the calculation I've done. I took measurement for the angle of incident using fit simulation, zero, start from zero. Everything will be zero. And then I increase the angle 30, 35, 40, 50, up till, till 60. So each time you going to change this angle, here I can take four, I can go for uh, 50 and you measure you 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 took the value for this angle you record it here in the table so this is theta one and this is theta two now how can i find sine theta one and sine theta two of course you can do it in your copybook using your normal calculator or i can use excel to do the calculation for me now how i'm going to use excel to do the calculation for me so I need first to convert from degree to tell radian. So I'm going to write equal, equal, select the angle. Here is the angle. And then times, times is shift with number eight. This is times. I'm going to call pi. Pi. OK, pi. Close the bracket, forward slash, you divide it by 180. Hit enter, so I convert it to radian. I can go back, and here you see there is a small uh, square to the right. Put the mouse on it till the mouse become like a plus sign and drag it all the way down. Now, why, why did I do that? This is to convert. This was you study it in math to convert from degree. To. Um, 
radian. OK, if you have the angle, for example, here, the angle is 60. Suppose the angle is 60 degree. OK, and I need to convert it to radian. Okay. So here is the angle in degree and the angle in, in radian. Angle in degree, it's 180. For radian, it's 5. So if I have 60, I need to convert it to radian. What I'm supposed to do is cross multiplication. So it will be 60 times pi divided by 180. And this is what exactly we did. You, want, you took the angle, multiplied by pi divided by 180. Now let's go back. We're going to do the same thing for radian. Okay. Do the same thing for radian. So I'm going to write equal. Select the angle. Times shift the number 8. Pi. P. I. Okay. Close the bracket. Forward slash 180. Hit enter. Go back and drag this value all the way down to let Excel do the calculation for me. Now I need sign. Sign the first angle, so I'm going to write equal. Write sign. You will get a list of function. Double click on the first one. This is the sign function. Sign what? Theta 1. Selected. Close the bracket and hit enter. Now go back to the cell and drag it all the way down. Same thing for sine theta 2 equal sine. So double click on the function sine which angle this one select it. Close the bracket. And hit enter. Go back. Select this cell and drag it from the square on the bottom corner all the way down. Now we need to calculate the index of refraction. We said index of refraction is sine theta 1 over sine theta 2. So it's equal sine theta 1. I'm not going to do this, this value because 0, 0 is undefined. So I'm going to start from here. So equal sine theta 1 over sine theta 2 and then hit enter. Go back to the cell, select it, drag it from this square to the uh, right, uh, bottom corner all the way down. You see the values for index of refraction, all of them is around 1.5, 1.44, uh, 46, 1 1.6, 1.5, so all of them near this. So the value should be actually 1.5. If I have, I can find the average of all of this value, I should get value close to the index of refraction of a glass, which is what? 1.5. Now, I can finish the lab report by finding the average. So I can write equal the word av here average. Double click on it. Highlight all the values that I need to find the average for. OK, select them all. Close the bracket. Hit enter. So the value I've got for the index of refraction of the glass is 1.5 which is close to the actual value of the material, the glass we're using. Now, the second step, I need to draw a relationship between sine theta 1 on y-axis and sine theta 2 in y-axis. I should get a straight line. The slope of this straight line it will give me the index of refraction, and this is, you see, the value here is 1.52. It's the index of refraction. How we're going to draw this one? I need to draw sine theta 1, so I'm going to select all these values of sine theta 1. Insert, go to insert here. Charts. Hit the scatter chart. OK. Now right click on any point of the chart. Select data. I need to draw a relationship between sine sine what sine theta 
Okay. So let's write it here and we'll fix it later. So sine theta one versus sine theta two. Edit. So here, sine, sine theta one versus sine theta two. Now, x value, I need an x value to be sine theta 2. So select them all, and I need the y value to be sine theta 1. So go and select all the cells. Hit OK. OK. So here is my chart. I'm just going to go and edit the chart. So right click here, add a trend line. I have, I have a linear, uh, display the equation on the line, set the intercept equal to zero because I want to, I want it to start from zero. I don't want Y intercept, so it's one point. Now I can put my axis, I can add it, add them from here. Here is the axis. This one, it's what, it's sine theta two. So I write it here, sine. I can go to simple add and select theta. Insert, close. So this is sine theta two, and here I can go. And this axis is sine theta one. So go add simple. I will choose theta. Insert, close, and this will be sine theta one. And then you collect, you continue your um, your sheet. So we draw this value. What does the slope represent? The index of refraction. After that, you have to find the error. The, the measured value minus the accepted value for glasses 1.5 divided by the accepted value. So the measured value that the one that you measured, which is from from your calculation from from the slope is it was 1.5 okay so you write it here 1.552 minus 1.50 divided by 1.50 okay it should be positive value not negative times 100 that's why we put the absolute value times 100 percent you will get the percentage error after that you have to write your lab report using IB lab report format. So when you submit it on on Manage Back, I don't want you to submit this one. This one, it's for you to know what you're supposed to put in the lab report. Your lab report should be in lab report IB format. 